this segment of the Word tutorial, we are going to learn about using the Editor tool in Microsoft Word from Office 365. This is a new tool in recent editions of Word. So let's say we have this document or report. We have made changes to it. We have applied some formatting to it and things of that nature. And now we want to check it for certain functionality and grammar and other options. Now remember, some of this grammar and is also covered on the review area, and I'll try to cover those later. But since we are early on in the Home tab here, we are presented also with this tool for the editor. If you click on Editor, it's going to check for spelling in the document and it's going to identify the grammar areas and also various refinements such as for clarity, for conciseness, formality, punctuation, and things of that nature. Now you'll notice here that certain things are uh, with a check mark. That's because this was a document that I retrieved, so it was a published document basically a research document was published, so therefore those issues are fixed. Now here under spelling, if you click on the spelling area, it's basically saying there's no reference for this first one. Let's go to the next one. Again, there's no reference here as well, and no reference. So there are no spelling errors, it's just bringing things that are not normal. Notice that you may want to fix here called space virtual or so you may make changes in there. The other thing is, so you can ignore those or ignore them all the time and then move to the next thing. Then you return back to the editor here and then we are going to check it for grammar. You click on grammar. Notice thus the programs of this sub. It's recommending or it's suggesting to use thus comma. So put a comma in there. And basically you're making those changes and applying them directly by simply pushing those suggestions or acknowledging those suggestions here. Then you come back to the editor and then you go under the punctuation conventions or clarity and you make those changes as well. And once uh, you deal with these suggestions, then you can close the editor and basically you have applied some of the tools, the editing tools. So it's kind of Word here is acting as your personal editor or professional editor to your document.